I'm going to show you the best way to farm bomb arrows in Tears of the Kingdom. I'm going to give a couple of honorable mentions to some decent places where you can go and grab a few. And I'm going to show you guys a very quick basic place, just in case you want a couple to start you off. And this is obviously the Guttenbach um, Shrine from the very beginning of the game. We're going to drop down to the bottom of this cave here, just to show you guys that there are a couple you can get up on the surface before we get into the main farm. This is probably one of the quickest places you can come very early on, just because all we need to do is drop on down. We're going to pretty much ignore the enemies in here. And we can just make our way around. We should be able to get like five or six bomb arrows in here. If you keep your eyes out just as you're kind of running through. Just going to try and keep this quick. Because I really don't want to spend too much time in here. Because the main farm, in my opinion, is way cooler than this. One just there, look. One down. There's another one down there. Yeah, another one there, look. And then... There'll be one just near the back end of them. Now, when it comes to respawn times, I really don't know what the exact respawn time is. As you can see, each of the plants you see on the floor has the potential to spawn one of the bomb flowers. They don't automatically respawn after each blood moon, and they definitely don't respawn as quickly as the other flowers do. Now then, the other two honorable mentions, in my opinion, are Hatano. Here we are, Hatano over on the eastern side. Um, honorable mention in my opinion you can you can easily get over 10 if you go into one of the wells all of the wells are interconnected half of the internet seems to list them separately which is just really weird um so there are four wells in hatano they kind of go around in like a square you can loop in there you can easily get 10 and if you want to add on to that if you start at the jakea shrine here and go on through you can get another five in here so it's like 15 you can get from hatano not too bad and if you've progressed the story and gotten the Goron follower. I hope they haven't spawned that for somebody. Um, there's an underground area in the lookout landing where you can get quite a few, but it's a real pain in the ass, and I really didn't like it, which is why I decided I was going to find a different spot. So that different spot then is, in fact, underground, in the underground forests. Now, of course, I have a little bit of this unlocked already, but all you need to do to kind of get started, as you can see on my map here, there's actually quite a lot of forestry very kind of close to an early part of the chasm. So what I recommend that you do is come on over to the Kimizun Shrine here. I don't know if there's a forest that kind of connects to that. Maybe there is. No, there isn't really. Oh, there is a little bit. So actually, we could start from the Nizu Nuzimak Light Route, which is what we're going to do. And I'm going to kind of have a farm around. I don't really have, like, specific spots, but I'm going to show you guys what it's like down here, just so you can see how this works. So once you're down here, we can see all of these purple splodges, and they are trees. And this is what the bombs seem to like spawning near. I usually uh, sport, uh, start near the top here, as you can see, and I usually spread on down this way because there's quite a lot of trees. But just because, I'm going to recommend you guys drop down here. This is where I'm going to start. And I'm going to start just by going pretty much straight west. I'll leave my, leave my usual northern patch of trees out. Each time I find a set, what I'll do is I'll bring the map up, put a marker on it so you guys can see me pick up each piece of candy. So, off to a pretty good start, piece of candy number one. And you'll see that around these little fatter trees, sometimes they'll come in clusters of like two to four. So make sure when it comes to the bigger trees, you give them a good check. Okay, I'm going to have to be pretty quick about this one. What you'll find is that sometimes the trees are chasing you around. They're not particularly fast. So just kind of outrun them. I've got one there. i got one there. And then I can move on to the next piece of candy. Next set. This is the third set. The first two had two. And this one looks like it's only going to give me one, which is a bit of a shame. Move on to the next one. Next cluster here only giving me one out of three possible spawns. That's a bit of a shame, but I think that puts us on... Six bombs already, nice and quick. We're at the end of this kind of small forest already, but you can see how quick this is going to be, especially once I start spreading over this way further to the west. Okay, decided I'd detour north just because there was a string of trees up here. Got another set just here. Only what? Look at all them possible spawns, man. <laughs> I come down here quite often, so it's very possible that I've already picked a lot of this up. Either way, that's another set right there, and then now I'll be heading straight down to where the trees are. Another large set of possible spawns that are previously cleared out, but we get two from there. It's not too bad. Little single one just inside the little forest here. Let's keep on going. We've got a big spot right here. Whenever you are short on bombs, this is one that you probably should always come to. Look at all those spawn spots right there. Like every time you come here, you're probably going to get a good four or five bombs out of that tree right there. Maybe I should mark this kind of tree down. So this has like got three things on the top of it. Because that looks like it's going to give us a lot all of the time. And then even more just across from it, we've got another one that's got quite a few spawn spots next to it. It's given us another two. That's like nine already, just as we've gotten to this um, larger forest over here. A little bit to the south, just because I wanted to see if these trees were indeed good to signifiers of the bombs, and they really are. That's another one. 
Going back through the forest then, just so I can show you guys another one right there. Two more right here. I don't know what that puts me on now. We're well over 20 at this point. And then one more just over here. Uh, I do usually go a little bit further out, but I really probably should think about clearing out the gloom over further here. In fact, you know what? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to clear. Uh, I'm going to find the next light up thing so we can continue the forest. Just show you guys just kind of, I mean, look at all those spots that we've got loads from. And I didn't even include these northern parts right here. Hopefully that's mostly gotten the point across already. Oh, it's a little bit more clear. It's got another group of spawns right here. Okay, so I ended up heading a little bit north because I really wanted to check this idea that the kind of weird mushroom-shaped trees would spawn more bombs. And it seems like that is the case. So not only do they spawn kind of around the little trees, but these big kind of mushroom-shaped ones you can see here with like almost three kidney shapes that kind of jut off of them seem to very commonly do it. So I did, in fact, come to the north to the Nisoj uh, Lightroot Tree to check this. And I had like three clusters here. I've got another cluster here down to the south of this one that was just a little bit across. We're going to get a load more bombs here, as well as a load into this set of trees as well. just saw another one glistening in the trees. Look, I'm going to go ahead and grab that because we might as well, right? Let's, uh, let's cl close this uh, bomb farm on a high note, shall we? Okay, then, I don't want to labour the point too much. Hopefully the cuts aren't too crazy. But this is how my final map looks, just in case you guys want to copy down any points. We could probably go and look at more of these. These kidney trees that are shaped on the map seem really good as well. Um, so there's a pretty good amount near the Nisoj light route. There's quite a bit close to the Nyakam light route as well. So if you guys want kind of like overworld kind of map -ish, just so you can see where it is. Uh, get some of this on the map just so you can all mark out some spots. But really good around this... Uh, this new, new can't say it <laughs> underneath the old great plateau down this uh, down this chasm here plenty around these trees and i hope that helps you out let's take a look at how many bomb flowers we got oh my god i'm on eat <laughs> i'm never gonna have to bomb again just have fun down here guys make sure you get yourself loads of bomb flowers and i'll see you all again soon